I get it. I understand. Everything that I thought was so tragic in my life, everything that I thought was that came to destroy me and was going to be the worst thing that ever happened to me ended up being a blessing in disguise. So many people say that it is, but how many people had their whole life taken away from them, went to the penitentiary for 10 fucking years, came out and had become such a different person that it shaped their life into this current fucking beautiful existence you see. Is it still difficult? Yes. When there's a lot of moving parts, there's a lot of chances to, you're gonna have to put out a lot of fires when there's a lot of moving parts. So when you have a family, you have a business and you're working with so many damn people. You have a lot of responsibilities, but that's what being a fucking man is. You have responsibilities. You can be a man at 12 years old and you could be a baby fucking boy at 52 still with no responsibilities. What people don't understand is that as soon as you tar start taking responsibility for your motherfucking self, that's the only chance you'll ever have at leading others. But the fact is not everybody wants you to lead them or will let you. Some people will actually self-sabotage the situation just to say it was you because they can't keep up with the work. They can't do it. So it was obviously you. The plan and the habits and everything are very simple. Confucius said, there, everybody is the same, but habits. No two people are different. Only their habits separate them. We're all the fucking same. My habits constructed who I am today. We are habitual constructs. Everything we've thought, every, act we've, every action we've partook in made us who we are today at this very moment. So if you wanna change your life, you're gonna have to change your habits. And what habits do you wanna possess that are aligned with the person you wish you were? So sit the fuck down real quick. Pull the pen out. Write out the appearance of your 10.0 self. What do you wanna look like? Nobody's gonna say, bitch tits in a gut and 10 inch arms. What the fuck is the matter with this world? Pull out a pen and really say the appearance that you wanna have. Break it down in detail. If you want tats, write them out. How much do you weigh? How does your back look, your chest, your abs, your arms? Are you tatted? Do you dress well? What's your hair look like? I mean, really visualize who the fuck you are at your 10.0 self, the highest version of you. What is your appearance? Then next, we're going to go directly into your actions. The actions you would partake in if you were the best man you've ever met. Literally. Do you work out every day? Are you up early? Do you read? Are you writing a book? I don't know, whatever it is, what do you do? What are the actions you partake in that would make the best version of you? You would be proud to be this person. That's who you aspire to be. And then on the other end, write out all the actions that you never want to engage in ever again that would be disrespectful to self and the creation of this 10.0 individual that you're visualizing and stepping into and aligning your habits with. So we have to see this person before we can ever create this individual. So your appearance, directly in detail, the actions you partake in and don't, written out, motherfucker, fully accountable. And this is, if you can snap your fingers, no work needed, the best person you could ever create. Don't let the workload or how difficult it is stop you from writing down this person you're creating. Really, if it was your wish list, and nothing had to take place, but you write it on the paper. That's who you're writing down. So your appearance, everything about it, the actions you partake in and don't, this is your 10.0 self. Then we're going into the energy that you have. I like my intense energy. Some people can't hack it. Some people it drains them. Other people it motivates them. I will never trade it for any, there's nothing more that I like than when I'm so turned Nobody could tell me shit. And there's nothing weaker in my eyes than when you're one of those look around motherfuckers seeing if anyone is judging you in a negative way and it's already affecting you and it's just a fear that you have. It's not even happening. Nobody even gives a fuck about you. 
and you're looking around like, is anyone judging me? I know I'm a fucking pussy. I read motherfuckers like that from so far away. You're like, God, does this guy know he looks like that? They never do. So the energy that you're putting off, motherfucker. Are you an intentional motherfucker? Are you a victim of your fucking circumstances? Which one are you, bitch? So last but not least is your demeanor. Who the fuck are you when you walk in the room? It fits the energy as well. So do you walk in the room and know you're an asset? Do you walk in the room and know you're someone to be someone who should take the floor, someone who should take the stage? Are you someone sitting in the stands? I'm the stage, motherfucker. What the fuck is that guy on the stage for? Wes Watson's here. Pull him off. He ain't even making sense, motherfucker. This is what it is. Have you constructed an individual that will take what he wants? And I'm not saying to just write it down, motherfucker. We're going to write it down. And then we're going to actually do the daily act. We're going to engage in the daily acts that will create this individual. So you wrote that the motherfucker's jacked. Looks like you can't take, take a day off the gym, right? You wrote that the motherfucker had a six pack. We're dieting, motherfucker. If you're not big enough after the diet, we're going to reverse diet to put on size. Keep that six pack. What the fuck? If you're blasting, we're going to start looking for a good artist. Start planning that. Why don't people realize that you are your resume? Aesthetically. You haven't been able to speak yet. I'm looking at you. You're either disciplined. You're responsible. You're well put together. You care who you pull up as. You're an asset. Or you're a liability. Why does an overweight person who hasn't worked on themselves, who dresses like shit, not understand their liability to the energy of the situation? Like your bitch ass pulled up to a dope ass situation with beautiful people who worked on themselves. I never cap on something someone can't change. I'll never be like, oh, look at your ears, look at your hairline, look at your nose. I'm not gonna do that. That's what you weirdos try to do to me because I created myself a certain way. You'll be like, you're bald though, can't control that fuck face. This is the thing. I only cap on the habits, your choices, because you can change them. I only point a finger at those. I'll never, ever point a finger at something someone can't change. But if you're a titty having slob fuck with a big old gut and 10 inch arms playing goddamn video games, what the fuck is the matter with you? That's a man? Oh my fuck. We, we have just crossed into the fucking twilight zone. We're aligning your daily habits with the creation of this man. Now you have this man. You've said it out loud. You've written who he is. As you try to deviate from your daily habits that create this man, alarms start ringing. This is the offering you're bringing to the world. Most of you guys, you really believe that's an offering? Why do you think I did so good online? This is your answer. Because I am appealing online. I'm a great offering. I studied all this shit to really be able to articulate correctly. I built the body. I did all this shit. What did other people do to really show up and prove that they put in the work for you? Like, not just today. They've been working on this individual for a long time for you. That's the goal. That's the gift. That's the power. That's everything. Let's go.